In this section, we will talk about the concept of linear regression. Linear regression attempts to model the relationship between two variables by finding a linear equation, this is the keyword here, uh, that best fits the observed data. One variable is con uh, considered to be the explanatory variable, and the other is considered to be a dependent variable. So for example, if you're given this set of data here, as you can see, this set of data it doesn't fall exactly on a line. But we can find the equation of a line given by this red line that approximates the shape of this data. And if you notice, since as the horizontal or the x-axis increases, the y values are also increasing, this linear uh, equation will have a positive slope. In this case, as the x value increases, the y values decrease, so this will have a negative slope. Here's how you find the equation of the line of best fit. One, you choose any two points from the data set. Now, this part is going to be important. We usually uh, find the points that are the furthest apart. And two, we write the equation in the form y equals mx plus b. For part of your homework, you will have to graph uh, the points given, and we will use www.desmos.com, which is a very easy and fast uh, graphing tool for graphing purposes. So this video will take you through um, a couple of examples on, and also on how to graph. So first, let us go to an example from your homework. Now the example will say, Find an, find an equation of a line that comes close to the points listed in the table. Now notice that it says comes close to. So the answer we get is not going to be exactly uh, the answer that's given on the, um, in, your, in your choices. However, we will have to find the closest fit. Then use technology to check that your line comes close to the points. So the first thing we're going to do, and even though this problem doesn't ask us to do so, we're going to graph these points. So go to www.desmos.com, click on Start Graphing. If you see uh, this little plus icon that says Add Item, click on that and click on Table. This will allow you to add, to add the table. Then just put in your x and your y, y values. So your x values are 3, 4, 5, 6, and 8. And your y values are 6, 7, 4, 5, and 2. Okay, so this will give us an idea of uh, what, what our what our scatter plot looks like. Now we want to we want to find a line that's going to approximate the shape of this scatter plot. So the the best way to do this is we want to pick two points. Um, but if you pick these two points here in green, they're so close to each other the line's not going to be representative. So the easiest thing would be to do is to pick the furthest point on the right side and the furthest point on the left side. So the points we're going to choose are going to be the points 3, 6. So we will choose this point as our first point and the point 8, 2. OK, so let's take our two points, which are 3, 6 and 8, 2. As soon as I figure out why this is, oh, because I got to press F5. OK, sorry about that. So once again, let's pick the points 3, 6, and 8, 2. So we went through the last section on how to find the equation of a line through two points. Step one, we need to find out what the slope is. The slope m is going to be y2 minus y1, which is 2 minus 6, divided by x2 minus x1, which is 8 minus 3. OK, so if we um, simplify this, 2 minus 6, that'll be negative 4, and then 8 minus 3 will be positive 5. In this section, we want to make sure we work in, in decimals, because all the answers you'll, you'll be given will be in decimals. So if you take 4 divided by 5, um, that'll be approximately negative 0 0.8. Step two, we know our, we want our equation to be in the form y equals mx plus b. So let's pick either of these points, either 3, 6, or 8, 2. It doesn't matter which. I'm going to pick the point 3, 6. So my x value will be 3, and my y value will be 6. And my m value will be negative 0 0.8. So I'm going to plug those values into the equation y equals to mx plus b. 
So for my y value, I'm going to pick 6. For my m value, I'm going to pick negative 0 0.8. And for my uh, x value, I'm going to pick 3, since the 0.3 comma 6 is an ordered pair. So I have y equals 6 equals to m, which is negative 0 0.8, and my x, which is going to be 3, plus b. So this gives me 6 equals to negative 8, negative 0 0.8 times 3, which should be negative 2.4, and then plus b. Then we would add 2.4 to each side. And we're going to get b is equal to 8.4. So the equation of my line approximately is going to be y equals to negative 0.8x plus b, which is 8.4. Okay, now let's see which of the answers is going to be closest to our line. So let's go back to the homework. And the answer closest to the to our line, our slope is negative 0 0.8. So we can automatically discard letters A and letter A because that has a positive slope. We can also discard letter B because the slope is negative 0 0.3. And if you round up negative 0 0.8, that's going to round up to negative uh, 1. So it's going to be one of these. Now 8.4 is closer to 10 than 11. So let's pick D as the answer. Okay. And then it says use technology to check that your line comes closest to the points. So I'm going to graph the line negative 0.8x plus 8.4. The way we do that is we go back to Desmos and you just press y equals to negative 0.8x plus 2.4. Okay. And as we can see, this line is not actually going to uh, go through these points. So that means we have to use the line that it was given here, which is negative x plus 10. And now negative x plus 10, that does go through these points. So the, the, the reason we have a difference is because when you go to statistics, you'll use technology to find this, this linear regression line. And technology is going to be more accurate. In this class, we're doing it by hand. When you do it by hand, this happens. We end up getting something like negative 0.8x plus um, 8.4, which is not uh, exactly accurate. But using technology, you will get negative x plus 10, which will be much more accurate. And once again, in statistics, you learn how to do this using technology. In this class, we do it by hand. Okay, let's go to the next question. The next question, this is your data. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to put in my points again. So my x values are 1, 2, three, four, five, and six. So I'm going to get rid of this last one. My y values are going to be 2, 28, 42, 52, 60, and 66. So I'm going to get rid of my next one. So the thing is, you have to make sure you plot the points. Now, as you can see, the graph isn't visible to us. So let's zoom out a little bit. And that's what the graph is going to look like. So we got to figure out which of these four graphs is going to be closest to the graph that we have. Okay. Now, for that to happen, we're going to need to um, make this a little bit bigger, and we're going to need to zoom out. So you, get, you have to play with this a little bit until you get a, a good idea of the shape. But the shape looks like this. So we can see that we have a positive correlation, and the graph is going to curve a little bit. So let's try to match this with what we have. So we, we, we need something with a positive correlation that curves up a little bit. So it could be either A or D. Now, D, it doesn't have much of a curve, whereas A does. However, in A, if you look, the last three points, they seem to have the same Y value. But in D, the last, uh, last couple of th few points, they're increasing. And here, the last few points are increasing. So it's most likely going to be letter D. So you just have to play with this a little bit. You know, some of it's guess and check. Once again, because we're doing this by hand and not using technology, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. OK, in part B, uh, let's find the equation of the linear model to best describe this data. So let's pick uh, the, the, the furthest, two, furthest point 
on this side and on this side. So we're going to pick the points 1, 14 and 6, 66. So let's go back to here and pick the points 1, 14 and 6, 66. Okay, so we're first going to have to find the slope. The slope m is going to be y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So 66 minus 14 will give us 52, and 6 minus 1 will give you 5. Once again, in this section, do not work with decimals, only uh, or fractions rather, only work with decimals. So 52 divided by 5 will give you 10.4. Step two, pick any of these points. I'll, I'm going to pick the first one. So my y value is going to be 14. So instead of y, I'll pick 14. My m value is going to be 10.4. My, my x is going to be 1. And I'm looking for my b. So this will give me 14 equals to 10.4 plus b. If I subtract 10.4 from both sides uh, in order to isolate the b, I'm going to get b is equal to 3.6. So I, my equation is going to be my m is 10.4. So it'll be 10.4x. My b is 3.6. It'll be plus 3.6. Now, because we're doing this by hand, this will not be uh, exact. But we need to find the, the closest, to, um, closest to this. So let's go back to our homework and figure out which of these is going to come closest to 10.4x plus 3.6. Um, so it's going to be, it's not going to be B for sure. It's not going to be D for sure because B has a negative slope. D slope is too big. So it's going to be either A or C. Now in A, notice what's happening. N is the, it's kind of like the X variable and P is like the Y variable. So our equation is going to be in the form of Y equals MX plus B, right? So the Y has to be P. So it's not going to be A because in A, the N, which is like the X variable, is on the left. We need the Y variable to be on the left. The Y variable in this case is P. So it's going to be letter C, which is P is equal to 11.5N plus 2.5. OK. Um, the next one, it says, draw your line in the scattergram in the, in the viewing window. Verify that the line passes through the point. So, so once again, we want to graph the more accurate line, this one right here, because this is the one found by technology. So we're going to go back to Desmos, and we're going, we're going to graph the line. Um, instead of P, I'm going to use Y. So it's going to, going to be Y equals to 11.5X plus b, which is going to be 2.5. So as you can see, this, this red line, is going to, it's, it is going to go through these points. So um, since this scatter plot was the one we chose as the correct one, um, it's going to be letter d. OK, now the next question, um, I'm going to have you guys do this one on your own for the most part, but I'm going to help you set it up. So it says, the percentage of births of births outside marriage in a particular country are shown. Uh, let P be the percentage of births outside marriage. So this is like your Y value. And let T be the number of years since 1900. This is important. T is a number of years since 1900. So for the year 1970, 70 year, years have passed since 1900. So the X value is going to be 70. Okay, it's not going to be 1970, it'll be 70. And then the corresponding y value is going to be 10.1. So what I want you to do is I want you to, um, you know, fill, fill in the rest of the table with the x and y values. Just to give you one more, also make sure you clear the, uh, clear the line from this so it doesn't confuse you. This was from the previous problem, so click on the X, clear the line. So the next one, 1975, will actually be 75 as the X value, because 75 years have passed since 1900, and the Y value will be 12.9. So go through, fill the rest of it out, and then use uh, the, the furthest two points to do your linear regression, and um, go from there. If you have any questions on this, I would love to answer them. So come to class if you do have questions. If not, then 